Alrighty guys, so today we have some news for the 2K community on NBA 2K19, which is releasing very shortly. Zach Timmerman recently tweeted saying that the max my player weight is now 290 pounds, and in all the previous games it's been 340. What this basically means is it's going to be a little easier for the guards to actually defend centers because at 340 pounds, if you're a good center in this year's game, 2K18, you can not be stopped by a guard no matter what. It's a guaranteed two points every time. So it's just going to give the guards a little bit more of a chance, make it a little more realistic when guarding centers. Then Mike Wang went on to tweet saying, Pump fake draw fields have been reworked, much more reliable now. And for those keeping track, takeover boost will probably be closer to plus 10 for primary ratings and plus 5 for other ratings. So what this means is, for your first archetype, your main archetype, you're going to be getting plus 10 to those stats. But for secondary, you're going to be getting plus 5. So say for instance, you make a playmaking sharpshooter and playmaking is your first archetype, your main archetype. You get plus 10 to just all of them, things like dribbling, ball handling, passing. And then for plus 5, you get... And then for your secondary archetype, which would be sharpshooter, you get plus 5 to all your shooting attributes. Then less than one hour later, Mike Wang tweets, New dribble fatigue model in 19. If you over dribble, your ball control will drop and your moves will degrade in speed and effectiveness. So spamming too many moves will drop your dribble tier and eventually cause you to fumble the ball. and need to be efficient with the ball this year. So what you're probably wondering, are dribble gods dead? Are good playmakers dead? No, I don't think so. I just, like, I think you're still going to be able to find some good moves that can easily beat the defender but you just can't spam dribble I think you're still going to be able to dribble just as well for all the dribble guards out there and for all the good guards and you're going to be able to get around your defender still quite easily with the right, right moves but you just can't do it too often so what it means by when it says it's going to drop your dribble tier the more you dribble so say you have a tier 3 dribble tier which is 86 which means you can speed boost so if you keep dribbling and you dribble for too long it'll drop it down to a tier 2 just say it's 80 or something which means you can no longer speed boost then if you keep going it'll drop it to a tier 1 which means you can barely dribble at all not gonna lie and then uh, if you keep going you're just gonna fumble the ball and, co and cause a turnover so just try and be effective with the ball learn some moves I'll be posting more videos on 2k updates and on dribble moves just all things like that on all the archetypes so stay tuned on the same day, Mike Wang tweeted one more dribbling note when branching out of hop gathers. Example, step back jumpers, only tier 3 ball handlers can explode out like last year. Tier 2 will be slower but controlled and tier 2 and tier 1 will always fumble. So this is a really, really overpowered move. So all I can say is if you got if you want to be a good guard, aim for the tier 3 ball handling. You need to have that if you want to be a good guard, a, drib a good dribbling guard anyway. So tier 2, you're still going to be able to do it, but you're going to get no speed boost whatsoever. It's just going to be a slow move, you won't be your defender with it. And then tier 1, you shouldn't even try it at all because you're just going to cause a turnover. That's all I have on the 2K news for now, but I will keep you guys updated. As, more, as I find more out, but make sure to sub for more Fortnite videos, more 2k videos, I'll give you every piece of information when I know it, and the prelude should be out within two and a half weeks, so we can test out archetypes, test out everything, and there'll be a lot of content coming to this channel, so please sub if you're new, leave a like, and come on with some feedback on your thoughts on this year's game. I have you now.